Hi, I'm Monique and I'm presenting to you my new design, Flower Child. As you can see, this is the bottom border and this is the edge. And um, what I'm about to do is turn the corner and I want to show you how I'm doing that. Most of you are already aware that in most of my patterns I use the rip and turn technique. And I'm now at the point that my stitches here are almost got, uh, almost all used up. Um, this is the indication that my actual corner is where my blue wire is over here. That's my stitch marker because the yarn is very fine. And um, the most important thing is is that you have to um, knit as much of the corner so you can continue knitting edge in this direction so you have to make this arch with enough rows so you can continually happen but continually knit in this direction but there's very important information here when you make the shawl you start over here then you knit up the stitches go in that direction but when you make an edge on the bottom the knit stitches go in that direction because you're knitting that way you're knitting back and forth but you're going that way and here you're knitting back and forth and then you go that way so that means that they are perpendicular to each other and that means that the stitches over here are not as wide as the stitches over here oh my hand my hands can't turn that way so i'll do it like this this is a knit stitch in this part this is a knit stitch in this part so when i do this i have to make the corner so the technique i'm using is wrap and turn i've had many people asking me why and the mo most reason the reason I use it is because um, with the wrap and turn you can continually knit on the edge without uh, doing short rows because short rows in shadow and lace is very difficult because sometimes uh, you have a yarn over and it's hard to make a turn in that way. Okay, let's do this. I knit like I usually do. Looking around my cell phone. Let's see, I'm going outwards. Pattern is pretty easy. Then there's one stitch stitch marker oh not the yarn over let's see where am i okay here now i do not a slip slip knit but knit two together through the back loop because that's quicker then there's one stitch left there should be a stitch marker here but I lost it so anyway the wrap and turn this looks like one stitch but they are two let's see look there are two loops and in the previous row I already did wrap and turn wrap and turn is you knit up to the stitch marker there should be a stitch marker here you put the yarn in front, so now it's in front of the work. Then I knit, do not knit both stitches. See, there's a horizontal bar around them. There are two. I put the yarn over and under. And now there are two horizontal loops. See? That means that with the previous wrap that one i attached two knitted rows to those two unknit stitches and with the one i just did now i've knitted one row i make the corner 
wrap and turn then I that that was the wrap here comes the turn make sure that it doesn't fall off the needles so this is my row there are the two stitches my yarn is now in front so I slip them again not knitting still two stitches and because it's garter stitch I have to turn the yarn to the back again and it's silk so it doesn't stretch so I have to pull it really tight and knit the next one yarn over three together oh was a bit out of the frame I separate the stitches with my fingers, I pull on it, stitches open up, my needle goes in very easy. Okay. So, now I lay it down like I did before. border, edge, the actual corner of the border of the shawl, and there are here two stitches, Let's see where they are, okay, Focus. No. Okay. Two stitches. Well, 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 with two wraps around them. See, two stitches, two loops. I will now. Um, because when you knit them, they will fall off, uh, so you have to secure secure them with this one. So let's do that now, because it's the first wrap and turn. It's like making a clock. You go around until you've used up all the stitches that were saved for the wrap and turn. funny thing is I'm now looking at my screen to see what I have to do because it's behind my cell phone pull down insert needle the yarn is silk it's a 2-60 NM, that means that it's a two-stranded yarn and one gram is 60 meters so that means that hundred grams is thirty meters no three hundred the three thousand See, I can't do math, math and knitting at the same time. Okay, here are my wrapped stitches. One, two. 
there are now two wraps around them those one two and because it is the first wrap and turn that's enough now i have to secure them by knitting them through the back loop with another picked up loop from here so let's see this through the back loop so now the wrapped stitches are locked and I've shifted the needle up by one stitch so there are now four rows six rows attached two rows from the one wrap and turn two rows from the second wrap and turn and another two rows for the knit three together through the back loops and all I have to do now is As you can also see, I'm working on my straight needles like usual. Doesn't mean it can't be done with bamboo or wooden or circular needles. It's just my preference. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that doesn't mean I have to go decrease yet because that's another trick. Read your knitting, how many holes are in the chart. How many rows are in your knitting? And then you can decipher where you are. I'm giving it all away over here. No more secrets. I have these stitches left before my corner is reached so I can do more wraps and turns and it always goes to that one stitch where you attach your edge to the border. You don't need to do more than one stitch to attach it. So. I've got three more wraps and turns to do before I am halfway and that's it for now. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe, you don't have to, but it would be nice. And on social media, you can find me everywhere as a passion for lace. So that's on Instagram, threads, Twitter, Facebook. Um, well, yeah. That's most of it. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a fine night.